Welcome to our science class my dear students today we are going to learn about electrical circuits students have you ever wondered how the lights in your house turn on with just a flip of a switch well it's all thanks to electrical circuits in this lesson we are going to learn what an electric circuit is the different components that make up a circuit how circuit works and why they are important and the types of switches so first of all what is electrical circuit an electrical circuit is a path that allows electricity to flow it consists of different components like a battery wires and a device like a light bulb in our daily lives we depend on various electrical devices to do work for us each one converts electrical energy from one form to another they are called energy changers for example the bulb converts electrical energy into light energy the speaker converts electrical energy into sound the heat converts electrical energy into heat energy and the generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy notice that each appliance needs to be connected to a power supply some have batteries other must be plugged into a socket connected to the main supply my dear students remember that it is never safe to experiment with electrical circuits connected to the main supply why because the high voltage can cause serious injuries or even start fires always use batteries for your projects now let's learn about conductors insulators and semiconductors the first one is conductors so what are conductors conductors are materials that allow electricity to flow through them easily for example metals like copper aluminum and iron are good conductors insulators are the opposite of conductors they do not allow electricity to flow through them easily materials like rubber glass plastic and wood are good insulators dear students can you think of any examples of where we see conductors and insulators in our everyday lives look around your house or classroom and leave your answers in the comments below next one is semiconductors semiconductors are material that have properties between those of conductors and insulators this means they can sometimes conduct electricity but not always it depends on certain conditions like the presence of impurities or the application of an electric field for example silicon is a very common semiconductor it is used in a lot of electronic devices like the microchips in your computer smartphones and even in some household appliances did you know semiconductors are good conductors when hot but poor conductors when cold as you already know semiconductors are special materials that change how well they conduct electricity based on their temperature so when hot they are good conductors electricity flows easily when cold they are poor conductors electricity flows with difficulty for example silicon is a very common semiconductor used in computers when the computer gets warm the silicon helps electricity flow better making the computer work faster all right students let's look at this diagram it shows a simple circuit that we can use to test if materials are conductors or insulators how it works connect the battery switch bulb and crocodile clips just like in the diagram okay place the material you want to test between the crocodile clips turn on the switch to complete the circuit now if the bulb lights up the material is a conductor because it allows electricity to flow if the bulb stays off it means the material is an insulator because it blocks the electricity so in this way we can find out if materials are conductors or insulators sometimes it's hard to draw pictures of the parts of an electrical circuit not everyone is good at drawing and some people might not understand the drawings so scientists and engineers use special symbols to represent the parts of a circuit now let's take a look at this circuit diagram of a torch this diagram uses symbols to show how the electrical parts are connected the light bulb represents the part of the torch that lights up when electricity flows through it a switch controls whether the circuit is open or closed 
Cell or battery symbol represents the power source. It provides the electrical energy needed for the circuit. Okay, the cell or battery in a cell or battery, the long line represents the positive terminal and the short line represents the negative terminal. The lines connecting all the components represent the wires. They allow electricity to flow from the battery to the bulb and back. Now, the arrows in the diagram show the direction of the current flow. Electricity flows from the positive terminal of the battery through the switch into the bulb and back to the negative terminal of the battery. Let's learn about some of the electrical components that we use in circuits. Electrical circuits are part of everyday lives. Electrical circuits are made up from electrical components. These components help make our electrical devices work. So here is a table showing a few of them. So the first is battery. Two lines, one longer and one shorter is the symbol of a battery. Symbol of a wire is a straight line. Wires connect all the parts of the circuit and allow electricity to flow between them. The symbol of a light bulb looks like a circle with small cross or loop inside it. The switch controls whether the circuit is open or closed. So these are some of electrical components that we use in electrical circuits. Now let's talk about connecting components in an electrical circuit. It is important to connect components of an electrical circuit correctly. Okay, for the electricity to flow easily, circuit connections must be clean and free from grease and dirt. It means when we build a circuit, it's very important to connect all the parts correctly. We need to connect the components correctly to make the circuit work. For electricity to flow easily through the circuit, all connections must be clean and free from dirt and grease. Dirty connections can stop electricity from flowing properly. Now let's talk about two more types of switches. The bell push switch and the reed switch. These switches are very useful in our everyday lives. So what is bell push switch? Dear students, imagine the doorbell at your house. When you press the button, the bell rings but it stops ringing as soon as you let go. This is a bell push switch. How it works? It's normally off and only turns on when you press it. Once you release it, a spring pushed it back to the off position. So this is a bell push switch. Now the next one is read switch. Dear students, have you ever seen a burglar alarm system? When a door or window opens, the alarm goes off. This system often uses a read switch. Okay, now how it works? A read switch is controlled by a magnet. When the magnet is closed, the switch is on. When the magnet moves away, the switch turns off. For example, a read switch can be attached to a door frame and a magnet can be attached to the door. If someone opens the door, the magnet moves away from the read switch, breaking the circuit and sounding the alarm. So in this way, the read switch works. These switches help us in many ways, like making our home safer and letting us know when someone is at the door. Alright students, we have learned so much about electrical circuits today. Let's do a quick recap of what we have covered. We have covered basics of electrical circuit, components of circuits, types of switches and the importance of clean connections. Thanks for watching and learning about electrical circuits with me today. Subscribe the channel education more. See you next time. Goodbye students.